Yo, what's up guys? Uh, State Farm here, Green State Grower. So, uh, I'm gonna do a review today. My review is gonna be on the Vivo Sun 6 inch inline fan. Um, it's got a variable speed controller. It's just gonna be a short video, guys. I'm doing it on an honest review. Um, this, I have the 4 inch in my tent. And I have a 2x4 tent, as you guys know, and it's doing extremely well in my tent. Um, and you could even put a... Th this, this, this tent with my lights really could use a 6-inch. I should really put that in here, which I probably will. I just got to get ducting, different ducting and probably different filters. So, that's the 4-inch. <laughs> and this is the 6-inch. So... Um, not much difference between looks, just the size. Um, it's very nice, extremely just sleek, as you can see, smooth and sleek. It's got this black leather uh, case over it, and it's um, that's the inside. It's all metal in there. Very, very well made. Like, look at, look at how nice it's put together. It's it's put together really well. I was actually really surprised. It's very, very well put together. Very well. Um, the speed controller right here. So, got that. And then it's got this mounting bracket for mounting it. Let's throw it in, throw it in an outlet here. Um, guys, this is uh, $70, I think, $60, $70. Um, that's really good for a six inch inline fan with a variable speed controller built right in. This is a good deal. This is a very, very good product for a good deal. You are not gonna find a better deal than this. Everything else I've seen just doesn't compare. I've, the reviews say that everything's been crapping out and it just, you don't wanna waste the money and have to spend it twice. Why would you wanna do that? This, this is a good fan. Um, I'm very pleased with the four inch in my tent. That's why I haven't even moved it. Once I get my veg tent, oh my God, my camera's upset. What the fuck? Once I get my veg tent, I'm gonna probably switch this into my flower and then put this in my veg. Or this might just go in the veg until I get a different carbon filter. That's probably what I'll do. All right, so let's turn this baby on so you can get a sense of the noise level. All right, this is all the way on. So as you can see, I mean, it's it's got some noise. I have to talk over it, but it's not that loud. Like it's not. This it's really not that loud for for an inline fan. It's pretty quiet. That's quiet for an inline fan, guys. I mean, once you get it in your tent or whatever, and get the once you get the uh, ducting hooked up to it and the carbon filter, it gets a lot quieter as well. This phone's really gonna piss me off, guys. It keeps turning, and I don't want to turn like that. Sorry. Alright, so let's turn it down. Let's go to medium. So it gets a little quieter. And then we'll go all the way down. So I'll let it idle down. And that's all the way down. So, and that's still, it's still getting some pretty good speed, actually. It's pretty nice. I have no complaints. I've been running mine 24-7 um, 20, for the past two months, so no complaints at all. Go back up. But as you can see, the speed controller works very well. Going up and down. So, very nice product. Um, quick review. I just wanted to show you guys this. It's it's a good product. Um, all in all, I would give it five out of five stars. Yeah, um, usually you get really cheap products when you don't pay. Yes, it's seventy dollars. It's not the cheapest one. Um, for a six inch, that's an extremely good deal. And you're not going to find a better quality one. You might find a cheaper one, but it's going to be crap. And it, there's nothing wrong with this fan. It's a beautiful fan. Let's take a look at the uh, the ladies. 
So I'm gonna keep doing reviews, guys, just to show you what products I use. This is the two by four tent, and it's pretty damn good. No pinholes. Couple of little things on the zipper, but no, I mean you're gonna expect that. The zipper is very, very nice. It's actually a heavy-duty zipper. All right, so these are the babies. I moved that male over here. Um, I had that male that was actually a feminized seed that I tried to turn into a male just to see if, if it would and could happen, and it did happen. I uh, dosed it a lot with some high phosphorus newts, and it, it went, <laughs> it turned male. So that is not a myth, guys. You can get males um, out of feminized seeds. It does happen. So you gotta be careful with the nutrients you use. You wanna use a good blend of them. Um, not hot, too high in phosphorus or anything like that so that's about it i'm gonna end this video and let you guys get on with it peace